Look that we have here, pop it up, just straight bob, one length. So that's what we're gonna cut today. This can transfer into cutting any one length. So the section thing that I'm gonna do, transfer over. If you guys wanna cut this longer, if you wanna cut it even shorter, you can do that as well. And then we're gonna transfer this haircut into, and just do a couple tweaks, and we're gonna change it into this cut right here, which is, I believe, gonna be the more popular one of 2021 because I think it's Handmaid's Tale, possibly, on Netflix. A lot of hairstyles are popping out from that is what I'm reading. Reading, it's the flipped out look. So it's kind of crazy because when I was in beauty school in 2004, this was a trend where the hair kind of flipped out a little bit. It was more layered throughout the, the top. If some of you guys remember that, but it was a, it was a trend. Everybody was kind of wearing their hair with these winged out pieces. So pretty cool to see that they're taking kind of a one length bob. We're going to texturize the ends a little bit and then cut that textured fringe at the end. But that's, what's going to change this look from being, you know, just that one length center part bob to then becoming this haircut. So cut pretty much the same until the very end where we uh, change those couple things. All right. And now we are going to comb it back straight back. And this haircut is built off of a center parting. So what I want to do is I want to find that direct center. I'm going to look right at the bridge of the nose here and I'm going to follow that line back. And then I'll show you guys the move we make after that. So right here, straight back, find the bridge of the nose. And then I'm going to draw my line straight down the center. We'll part it. go. And then once I have the center parting, then I'm going to move to the back and I'm going to follow through into the back. Now there's one other uh, parting that I'm going to make, and this is kind of an optional parting, right? So obviously this one is not. This one I would always make straight down center back. There we go. So now we've split right side and left side. Now what I want to do is I want to split front and back. So now we've got front and back. How do we split that? You could say right at the ear. That's what I learned in beauty school. For me, I've learned to shift back a little bit. I think Sam Villa was the one that really brought that to light for me, was finding that hairline. So what I'll do is you, if you look right under here, you've got this hairline that comes down. Now all clients are different. Some might have a little bit more of an angled hairline. What I would do is just find the thickest density part and go straight up from that. So right here, I will comb the hair down from the top of the crown here, all that hair that wants to fall to the back. And I'm going to section it down and I go right into that hairline area. Now I'm going to take just a little bit more of that section and I want to get as straight of a line as possible. So here we go. Let me do it again. And what that does for me is as I comb that hair down, this works in a very straight line and I'll run this into the ground for you guys. I've talked about it every single class that we do, but the fact is that this density here, all the way from here to here and around the head to that same point is the same density, same thickness. And I'm gonna comb the hair, same thing here, comb this hair to the front, nice and tight. So I wanna work that root area, it's getting dry. Work that root area here, there we go. And then once I get that comb tight, I grab my clip, Clip it away. It's going to be right across that occipital bone area. All right, so now I'm gonna go right horizontally across the occipital bone here. So I'll slide that clip up underneath. And do the same thing on the opposite side here. Come right in, draw my line, cross. Now based on density, I could take this a little bit shorter. Like I could take less hair. Um, we're working with medium density to, to, low, to lower density. So a little bit less hair, a little bit finer hair. So medium to fine. I'm gonna comb down. Like I said, my body position is what I was talking about. So my eyes are flat with the head. I'm looking at my angle here and how I'm going about it. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna cut my blunt line. I'm gonna start working this blunt line across. Don't do too much at once. Okay. Get this hair out of the way. I don't mind dipping into this corner a little bit. So knowing that where I'm at. So I don't mind coming in here and then just dipping into the corner a little bit and cutting around. So I am slightly angling my comb forward, but it's not as much as if I over directed the hair back. See how that starts to go away? That's because I, I rounded the corner. If I didn't round the corner, there would be hair right here and it would be a guideline that came across like this. So I wanted to round that corner a little bit, but I still wanted to drop and kind of follow the jawline. I just don't want it to extend down too much and uh, parallel to the section. And I just go through and I cut my line here. 
and I'm gonna continue up this section. I wanna do this kind of in salon speed because it's obviously very repetitive, but the real details come in the dry cut. Uh, follow along with me as we get through here. So I comb everything, make sure it's consistent from scalp to ends, and then I go through and I cut. Another little rule, little tip is I don't mind cutting just each section just the tiniest bit longer than the previous. What that's gonna do is give me a little bit of a bevel uh, on the end, which kind of helps throughout there. So again, break this in half, comb the hair down. Got a new subsection here, and I'm gonna work across. Last bit. And again, you could give it a little life. Like as I'm combing through this, I'm actually, you know, it's things that I don't think about all the time, but you just kind of naturally do. I'm lifting the hair just a little bit and letting it drop down because I don't want it tight to the head. It's not gonna live like that. If I pull the hair tight and cut it, it's not natural, not going to flow right after the blow dry. This part is the simple part, just going in and cutting it. The hardest part is going in and actually detailing your work to get it to be that final look. That's what I think really separates different stylists is their ability to detail a standard haircut. You know, these are just haircutting basics that we learn in beauty school. But if I blow this dry right after I cut these sides and I leave it like that, that's not gonna be a very advanced looking haircut. Excited for that. I'm going to be cutting backhand, but my eyes will still be parallel to the section. So comb down if you want, depending on what makes it easier for you. My client's head is going to be straight up and down. So I'm not tilting it at all because I want it to be at natural fall. Other thing is that ear could stick out a little bit. So you could have a client whose ear kind of pops a little bit, pushes the hair out. So what I like to do is just comb that hair natural. And then if you need to, you can tap the ear to just relieve a little bit of that tension a little bit in the section, in the subsection. So here we go, comb it down. And now I'm gonna comb or cut across and follow my guide. My guide is my party, just like that. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side here. And Michelle, I thought that was a great tip as well. Paul, thanks for uh, sharing the website. So Robin, I want to address that a little bit. Uh, Robin's saying that we should only let licensed stylists in here. I disagree, um, and which is totally fine. Everybody can have their own opinions. Um, I disagree because I think this brings awareness to the amount of skill that goes into what we do and the amount of thought that should go into what we do. And I think it brings awareness to somebody that sits in a chair and there's a stylist that does not put that much thought and effort into it and it makes them make a better decision. So I think it's good for both. I think it elevates the industry. Anybody that wants to spend the next 16 years of their life trying to figure out haircutting like I have and wants to get as, you know, to know as much about haircutting as I do, more power to them. And I think they should be able to. And it's the same but they're not gonna learn it watching a YouTube or Facebook Live. They're not going to. All right, comb this back into the head, straight down. So now we've cut shape. Take a look in the back, make sure everything looks good. Cross, now we've got our shape in. So what I wanna do now is blow it dry. Talk to me nice. Natural fall, and then I'm going to start working a perimeter line and just defining that. It's one thing if the angle in front of you looks good, but then if you just slightly turn it, you might find that it doesn't look good. So you got to keep refining in all angles of the cut. I'm gonna do a little bit of hairspray. Just smooth this down just a little bit. All right, so now I'll start looking at it in all the different angles here to make sure that I end up with a solid line all the way around. All in all, I could definitely spend some more time and I will uh, refining that line. 
but that's kind of the idea. So you just keep rotating it, keep looking at it and getting it to that, you know, that line that you're looking for right here. So it has a slight little balance with the jaw and that's where we cut it to. So just take a look at that line that we created. It just has a, a much more flattering look when there's a purpose behind your line. You're not just cutting a line to cut it. So you cut it to definitely showcase the jaw. So there is look number one. We pop up what that we were kind of mimicking here. Now hers is longer, but I wanted to kind of do an in-between of look two and look one. So you can see it's just a nice blunt, nice blunt haircut. Shoulder length looks really good. There's that one. Now I want to quickly show you guys, because we've been on here for a while. Uh, I want to quickly show you guys look two and how we're going to create this, kind of flip it a little bit into look number two. They're not that different. I'm not going to cut it wet at all. I'm going to cut the fringe and then I'm going to cut just into it a little bit and show you how I style it. So let's get into that one real quick here. The one thing I will wet down is the fringe uh, because I blew it dry to go kind of backwards. So I want to add a little bit of moisture to those. This won't take much. This is kind of the, the Queen's Gambit, I think it's called. Spin on a 2021 trend. Nice little flip out bob. If you Google Queen's Gambit hairstyle, I think that's majority of what comes up. They have a lot of cool hair on that show. I don't even watch the show, but I just did a little research. Down to the hairline. So take out a little triangle there. Clip that away. So now I've got this area. For my fringe, again, add a little bit of H2O. And now I could cut this fringe using my scissors. So I grab the fringe in my hand and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pinch it. So I comb the hair like this, pinch it together in my hands, make sure my thumb is kind of pointing directly over the bridge of the nose. And then I go in, I got loose tension and I start working that 25 texture side. Now I'll go a little bit high and a little bit low. So kind of back and forth. And then what that's gonna do is just give me some different lengths and remove some of the hair. So now I've done that, right? Now I'm gonna go in 100% and finish off the line. So just 100%. All right, so now what I wanna do is blow dry. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me Say you a good guy, make Thank me believe so it Glad you guys like Don't it. wanna hear it, I wanna so see it Transformation, so we went from look number one to look number two With just a couple swipes of a tri-razor uh, to get it done Thank you guys so much, I'll see you on the next show